So, why don't I care if we lose this house to foreclosure? You see, when my spouse was, when the spouse was eight months pregnant, I said, spouse, please sit down so that we can talk about what we're going to name the baby. And she said, his name is Blah. And she walked off. That's when I said, all right, independent woman, I'm going to put you to work. Now, back then, I had two jobs and probably well, about four girlfriends. Well, three more than her. But what are you supposed to do when she's pregnant? That's a good question eh, that we got to talk about. And she knew about it, so she was upset. She chased them away. Well, not one of them. One of them didn't pay her phone bill, her cell phone, and so... You got to learn people's last names or you won't be able to find them. And they moved from that house, so I lost track of her. But the point here is, I had two jobs and when I was to go to the playground with my older child, I used to stand there and I... I did have, I, I remember not having sunglasses, but then eventually I used to take the sunglasses because it was so bright and I used to work the night shift and in the afternoons. And then in the morning, well, I wanted to take my daughter to the playground. And these other young mothers, ladies, they used to say, could we play with your little girl? And I used to say, yes, please, thank you, because I was barely standing up. I was so tired so what else happened I had two jobs and I didn't want them now I have zero jobs I'm staying at home I'm a house husband according to the food stamp program also I had gone to the food stamp office this is maybe a year after the child was born because a coworker told me that food stamps, food stamps. So I told spouse, well, I went to the food stamp office and I said, I need food stamps. And the man said, where is spouse? <laughs> he, said, he said her name, where, where is she? And then I told him, oh, she didn't come to this country to be on food stamps. That's what she had told me. And then he said, well, if she's not going to come here, well, <laughs> meaning there's nothing he can do about it. So the government wanted to help women with children, and so they created the food stamp program because at the same time, they thought that men were drunks and alcoholics and, and bad men and bad fathers and bad husbands and bad sons. And so there was no power. I've already mentioned in another video how I wanted to buy peanuts for my mother to go to on, on her trip on the airplane. And the spouse, now she gets $500 worth of food stamps. Maybe it's $400, I don't know. But at the same time, I just made a video about Nutella, the, the jar of Nutella. It has 28 grams of sugar. Uh, Cereals, they have 27, 30 grams of sugar, or more than 10. The food lady said 10 grams of sugar. That's it. And so the spouse buys sodas and Coca-Colas and, and juices. And, and that's another thing I don't, I don't work because I say, don't bring garbage home. Ice cream, make them eat it over there. They'll only eat one. 
and then I won't be going through the refrigerator at midnight eating the rest of the gallon of ice cream it gets hot in Florida so when the spouse refused to allow me to participate in the naming of my son for three years I didn't talk to my son my anger was towards her but I took it out on him now I did walk around with him I did however I was just hanging out with my older child and one time a doctor she said how come your son hasn't spoken one word and that was the first time I looked at him and I saw him looking up at me and I had done to him what they did to me when I was a kid uh, as far as not talking to me not and ever since that day I have been inseparable from my son except for the two days the, the the two times I got Baker acted seven and a half days the first time and what five days the second time that's the only time I've been away from my son I'm always next to him now the daughter doesn't want to hang out with me because she's like a teenager and stuff and she doesn't want to practice Tai Chi she doesn't want to watch movies with me she doesn't want to uh, read any books I'm trying to recommend her the diary of Anne Frank she doesn't want to read that she doesn't want to see the movie she uh, if I say take out the garbage she says yes and walks away doesn't do it or she's a pain in the butt so I keep away from her so I don't get triggered into well, what happens is if I uh, show my muscles like the dad that shot the the laptop you seen him on Facebook he shot he shot a laptop because his daughter put something on Facebook and so if I was to do something like that I'd get Baker acted again so oh you shot the laptop you're probably gonna shoot your daughter next no you're not gonna shoot the daughter next uh, what I did to get Baker acted the first time was three months before I hit the car with a, a baseball bat but nobody was home and the reason I did it I told the spouse you yell at me one more time I'll hit the car so you can see how it feels how I feel when you're yelling at me so she yelled one Saturday and left I hit the car the following Saturday I hit the car again because she yelled again the third Saturday she said she was gonna call the cops so I said okay I won't yeah I won't do it so on Monday morning when she went to work I wrote on the car I will speak softly to my husband I will not yell then her co-workers erased it so but back to this that's why I don't work if, the, if she loses the house she used to tell me this is my house this is my house this is my house so I used to tell her this is the house God has loaned us but she doesn't see it that way and again when you have like actually when you've been raped after a while if you get raped again it doesn't hurt as much uh, now I haven't been raped I have no idea what what I'm talking about right uh, some people would say but I can imagine it's like that because if you've been uh, like when I was a kid I used to be chased a lot and then I used to get the bicycle stolen while I was still on it um, now I'm a tough guy in some in some sense I see someone coming I cross the street I don't care if it's a man woman or child or an old man or an old woman I cross the street I just don't want to deal with with uh, strangers unless I can't help it you know like uh, a bunch of people um, but when you have your your things stolen from you like I used to have a million toys in Honduras that's a figure of speech I had plenty of toys in Honduras and 
my neighbors didn't have shoes they didn't have toys and I used to go to town maybe it was once a week and every time I went I used to go ah! and grandpa used to buy me that toy so I don't buy toys but this spouse she used to buy a toy every single time to our kids and I told her that's wrong you're gonna make a child that's a man just like me I don't buy anything uh, they buy it for me this shirt they bought it for me this is when I got Baker acted by the way she bought me new ones because uh, the, the ones I used to have they had holes or I had written on them I had written on them things ring king uh, doctor I had written cow cow boy boy cow I had written those things on it so that well she won't the spouse won't let me write on the walls and you can see that thing I put on the ceiling oh boy I put a circle somewhere in the ceiling I can't see it from here nope can't see it from here but anyway it's it's up there and the reason I did that was to annoy her one of my uh, I'm not supposed to tell you but one of my dreams was to put I have one there another one there circles on the just a black marker I wanted to put skylights but I did that and I told her that it was for teleporting <laughs> so my son and I he was younger back then he was younger and he was like oh we're gonna teleport to Saturn or to Mars or but I really did that just to annoy the spouse she won't let me write on the wall so I wrote on the ceiling <laughs> Uh, so she put that down by the way when I, when I got Baker acted probably the second time but no I, I had to explain to the doctor I'm not really traveling this is called uh, educational play no imaginative play and he didn't buy that he said but why go to Saturn it's so far now if you're teleporting you're not you're not uh, limited by distance you could teleport farther away I don't know if Pluto's farther away than Mars or not but anyway <laughs> I think it is so he was making fun of me the doctor oh well it doesn't matter what other people think of you except that they can put you away for a longer time they really can so what should I do well if we lose this house that's fine by me because grandpa said no hay mal que por bien no venga there is something good will come of this like I am completely unattached now I've been homeless and I don't like it uh, sleeping in the cold I don't like it sleeping next to one time I was <laughs> I was supposed to go to work at night right security guard and the spouse was giving me such a hard time that I couldn't even get in the car to drive off and I called up the, co the boss lady and I told her that I couldn't go and then I, I lied down and uh, I laid down laid lie down and on, on the cement I was just like this but then a uh, what do you call that animal a possum walked over to me and so I jumped up <laughs> mm. <laughs> that possum jumped up and I said I'm sorry I mean I jumped up when I saw the possum coming so slowly and so I don't uh, I don't like being homeless now my mother when she passes away well then I will have to work because of the the money situation will be less way less <laughs> but the only reason I stay here even though the spouse has been fi finally has God has answered my prayer talking about the bedroom now 
Finally, God has answered my prayer. And I am satisfied in the bedroom. Finally. For about a month. Before that, it was twice a month, three times a month. And I had to beg all the time. But now, finally, the spouse is being kind to me. And I'm not telling you anything strange. Uh, some people, I don't have a clue why they get married. <laughs> or why they, yeah, why they particularly, that the, the one person. If, if they're going to be unkind to the spouse. Oh well, meaning my, <laughs> if they're going to be unkind to me, why did they marry me? <laughs> but now, finally, everything's changing. Life is getting better. Uh, I've learned my lesson stay in the garage all the time I gotta be here to make this video and luckily they went to the doctor so I could make this video uh, I gotta be here because there's no internet over there this thing keeps disappearing <laughs> uh, and I got rejected I was not allowed to transfer relocate is what the, the internet guy told me from the company he said you gotta relocate it to the other room, but then you're gonna the people over here are gonna have that problem, you know, with their. And I'm like, oh well, because the biggest problem I have is privacy. I'm not allowed to make videos like this, but the spouse doesn't know about this channel, so if she finds out, she'll probably cut my internet. But anyway, be better than I am, have a better life than I have, and if you're a man, I recommend that you live alone. That's the only way you can be a man. However, I sacrificed living alone for protecting my kids <laughs> back then. Now it's, uh, I love one of them, and then if you get divorced, you got to pay alimony, but I don't have to, oh, I think. Because I haven't had a job in seven years, the time we've been married, or even longer. <laughs> and so I wouldn't have to pay alimony in a divorce, I think. And what else? Uh, well, it's getting long. Uh, I'll make another video. Take care of yourself. Yeah, so I won't, I won't have to pay uh, any alimony. And, well, yeah, but men, when they get divorced, they lose custody. So if you're going to lose custody, then you might as well stay married and suffer the, the pain of the bedroom. Uh, meaning the lack of, as women put it, intimacy. But, well, if I had a job, then I would have girlfriends, and then <laughs> I would just double my, my problems. Mm hmm and then maybe not because I am older now when I walk by a woman I remember when I used to walk by a woman like I opened the back door and I, I was coming in and there was a lady coming out beautiful young woman she the way she would look at me for that two seconds one two seconds three seconds and then the way I would look at her I was like and then of course this spouse would just like she wouldn't push me but she would give that she would just like ended right there and then the young woman that was looking at me she would like she would look away and then she'd look away and ah oh, but she was I know she was heartbroken I was too <laughs> I said why did I have to come with the spouse today but that was when we were dating so like everything changes once you're living together it's not like they can call you and you can say, oh yeah, I'll be right there. No, you, you, not if you live with the other one. <laughs> All right, be, be a better dad than I am. Bye.